guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have for you a super easy crock pot meal. But before I get into that, I just wanted to go ahead and mention that this is also a giveaway that I went ahead and decided, um, since a lot of you use my affiliate links down below in my description box to um, purchase things, I you know obviously make a little bit of money off of that and I wanted to go ahead and give back to you guys since I'm able to do that. And so I decided when I went ahead and purchased some of my cleaning products on Grove Collaborative that I was gonna go ahead and purchase some for you guys too. And since it's fall, I wanted to go ahead and purchase the whole fall set that is by Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day that they have on Grove right now. So I went ahead and picked up the apple cider scent for you guys and I got all of the items for you guys. So I'm super excited because I just want to give back to you guys because you guys are amazing, always watching my videos, supporting me, commenting. So why not um, give back when I can? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the items. I want to make this really quick so we can get into this uh, crock pot meal because a lot of you guys have been asking about um, me going ahead and making some meals that I make here at home. So this is the multi-surface cleaner and um, it smells amazing. I'm really excited for one lucky winner to get this kit. And then this is the uh, dish soap. You're gonna get one of their amazing candles. So then this is the hand soap. And then last but not least, you will get the flax beige kitchen and towel. And all you have to do is be a subscriber, of course, and go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I'll have that information down below. So also go ahead and comment down below what your favorite cleaning product is. And we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into this crock pot mill. Enjoy. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and try another voiceover. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just add our chicken. I go ahead and add like four to, or three to four pieces of um, boneless chicken to your crock pot and then I'm gonna wash my hands. So go ahead and add about three cups of water. Add any kind of taco seasoning that you would like. And then go ahead and get a Hidden Valley Dips Ranch uh, seasoning packet. So then I kind of just stir it around and make sure everything is like covered with the seasoning and the water and all of that you want the chicken submerged in the water and it should look like that so then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it on slow cook and I cook it for about five hours and then once it's about 30 minutes left to cook I go ahead and shred it. And then another thing I do recommend if you want it less liquidy so it's not too runny in your tacos is go ahead and turn the crock pot on high on the last half an hour and then go ahead and remove the lid and then let it cook like that for the last 30 minutes. What I like to do is go ahead and uh, fry up our tortillas. So I just go ahead and fry them on the oven and make them kind of crispy because that's how everyone likes it. Okay, so now we are all done, and I'm so excited because you can eat this chicken alone by itself, and it tastes amazing. So good, so perfect, and you can make multiple meals out of the rest of the chicken if you like. It's just that good. So I went ahead and chopped up some veggies. That's what we prefer. I like cilantro, onions, tomatoes, all of that good, so good stuff. <laughs> and then um, I do add this new... Uh, guacamole salsa that we found and then I go ahead and use plain yogurt instead of sour cream That's just something that I do so then I'll usually just pair it up with some chips and salsa corn Sometimes even beans black beans, but tonight we did corn and chips and salsa and Everybody loved it 